Welcome to the next generation learning. Consider a stepped bar which is fixed at one end and subjected to a force of 500 Newton on the other end. Now there are two areas. First one area A1 is 900 mm square and second area A2 is 600 mm square. Both the areas are with a different property that is different Young's model as E1 and E2. Now let us consider the finite element model using three nodes 1, 2 and 3. The second node is at the center. Let's open ANSYS now. Let us go to preferences. In the preferences we select structural. In the preprocessor element type add. Here we select the element as link and 2D spar1 element. Now let us define the real constant that is properties. We define here area. It is 900 mm square real constant 1. This is of a section 1. Now let us add another area. Since we have two sections with different cross section areas, we need to define two real constants. So real constant 1 and 2 sets are defined. Now let us define the material model. We also have two material models because we have two different properties for two different sections. Now let us define the new material that is second material with material ID 2. Okay, now second material is also defined. Now let us go to modeling, create, we create node. That is node number 1 will be at the origin. Node number 2 will be at a distance of 600 mm and third node will be at a distance of 1100. So we created 3 nodes. Now let us create the elements. Between 1 and 2 we have element 1 that is element 1 with properties that is real constant 1 and also material model 1. Now between 2 and 3 we have material model 2 and real constant 2. So we have defined the elements. Now let us define the boundary condition. We apply the degrees of freedom that is restrictions on node 1. So all degrees of freedom are fixed at node 1. At node 2 we are applying the force that is of 500 Newton in the positive x direction. Now we will solve the current load step. Here we can see the deflection. Now let us go to element table, add by sequence number ls, we are defining the stress. So 1, ok, close. Now go to plot reserve, control plot in that nodal solution, DOF solution and displacement vectors. Now go to line element result. Here we can see the stresses that is in the element 1 and element 2 of the stepped bar. Red color indicates higher stress and blue lower stress. Like this way we can define or we can find out the different stresses in the elements and also the reaction solutions the nodal solutions that is displacement at different nodes that is at one two and third node to see the 3d view we are doing this step As we can see here the stepped bar in the two dimensional. Now to see the animated view, let us go to animate, deform plus undeform. Here we can see the deformed and the undeformed shape. Now let us see the 3D view by clicking on ISO. We can also see 
the displacement in terms of diagram. Yeah.